for many people, life just looks like following a path. And when we look at the actual path itself, for many of us, it's just a straight, narrow path with not much real direction, bearing in mind that we're operating from programming and conditioning and basically watching the world as it goes past, be it metaphorically speaking or be it literally speaking. But at some point in our lives, we have to start questioning the status quo. We have to start questioning what we've been told and what we've learned. Because as we follow the path and we get closer to the knowledge and everything that we understand, we start to lose the ability to have a look at the bigger picture. And when we start to look at the bigger picture, we can then take that step back and we can start seeing that there's things on the horizon, there's other options, there's other avenues, there's ways of doing things that potentially weren't available to us with the original set of instructions or programming or survival adaptation. So when we look at it from that perspective, we can then take a step back and review. And then the more we can see, the more we actually get into the position whereby we're then having a look at the overall bigger picture rather than just getting to a position where everything just becomes normal. And because everything then is normal, then we start to lose the distance and we start to lose the overall perspective as we come down to a position of habits, behaviours and creating new ways of being. But as the path then leads us off into a different direction, there comes a point when we subsequently have to get ourselves into a position whereby we're constantly reviewing. We're constantly looking for new ways of doing things, better ways of doing things. And then at some point, we'll then get back to the position whereby we can start looking towards dreams and goals rather than putting ourselves in a position whereby we're literally just running the same patterns of behaviour and running the same scripts and the same stories. And then what you find is that life then becomes relatively straightforward and easy, but it's more so because you're looking at your shadow element. You're looking into a position whereby you can see them and you've addressed them in order to then redirect your path as you move forward. But as with all things, you'll get into a position whereby we do have more shadow and we do have more conditioning and more programming. The question is, what do we do at that point? Do we still take this out of view or this look from distance or focus in and narrow down and look for those little areas of light that we can take and we can get to the position whereby we can use them in order to propel ourselves forward from a growth perspective? And then that growth in itself then becomes more of who we are and more of who we can be and then the more of us that we find in the unknown and the more of us that the magic happens means we can then start to look at the bigger picture. We can start to then look for those positives. We can then get into ourselves, or rather get ourselves into a position whereby without having gone internally in order to then see that yes, the road is long. Yes, the whole healing journey is a journey and not a destination. But for many of us, we have shadow, we have light, we have elements of ourselves that we've lost, given away or have taken away. There's parts of us that feel rejected. There's parts of us that we're avoiding. But ultimately, it's who we are and who we had to be in whatever the moment it was that we created it. And that was fine because at the time it was promoting or protecting us. Whereas subsequently after the original event, we're then in a position whereby it's ultimately punishing us. So from the perspective of growth and from the perspective of looking at new horizons and new ways of being and new elements of ourselves that we're yet to discover as part of that journey, we need to make sure that we're not running habits, behaviours, programmes that are all subconsciously ingrained in us for too long without getting to a position whereby we have to take the option as to which route do we wish to take. And then from there, we can make educated decisions using critical thinking and that critical thinking itself, coupled with intuition and a better connection with self, will then ultimately guide us as to which path we wish to take.